Where is your emergency? So the most common way that individuals would contact 911 would be to simply pick up the phone and dial 911 and communicate with the operator that's on the other end. Rockers, please. It's not always easy to talk on the phone. It's not always safe. There may be situations where an individual does not feel comfortable or they cannot safely communicate verbally to the operator on the other end. And that's where the 911 text messaging system comes into place. The message comes into the center on a dedicated computer that is just dedicated to the 911 text messaging system that alerts us that there is a text message coming in. This 911 text system is a feature that should not be used all the time. We still prefer talking on the phone over texting. It's going to take longer to get the correct information over text than it will by via phone. But you can use this system if you physically cannot pick up the phone and call 911. If the individual is hard of hearing, they don't have a TTY machine, they can communicate via text message to convey the situation, what services they require, and any other help that they could need. The most helpful item that a person can text us is their location. Once we know somebody's location, we could start an officer to them responding to the location of the emergency. This is not just for Rutgers University, this is for the state of New Jersey. Rutgers University was chosen to be the pilot program for the 911 text messaging system and then it went live for the rest of the state. We service all of Middlesex County for the text messaging system as well as the Rutgers community. So the end goal of bringing this service to the entire state of New Jersey as well as the Rutgers community is an added benefit of safety, another way of communicating and getting help to where they need it. So overall it's an excellent system for the state of New Jersey to have. Okay, just stand by there. I'm going to send her back out there to help you, okay?